Halo Lasso is quite possibly one of the hardest challenges in Halo. Only a few people have actually completed Lasso for one game, and even fewer have completed Lasso for all of the games. With 12 skulls, and only two of which don't affect you too much, it makes for a tough experience. Needless to say, there's a lot of difficulty in Halo CE Lasso. I took it upon myself to amp up the difficulty and try to beat Lasso with what I call True Iron, in which if I die, I reset the level as there is a glitch that allows you to reset from checkpoint. Not to mention, I have no friends who play Halo like I do, and will be doing Lasso solo, making it the Halo Slasso. In this video, I will describe for you the journey I took on beating the Slasso challenge for Halo Combat Evolved. This is how it felt to play the Halo Slasso Challenge. is, it is an acronym for Legendary All Skulls On. As I have said, there are 12 skulls. The 12 skulls are Black Eye, Boom, Fog, Eye Patch, Foreign, Famine, Grunt Birthday Party, Grunt Funeral, Iron, Malfunction, Mythic, and Recession. Each of these skulls work in perfect harmony to make a person go mad from anger. This challenge is for the masochist. Now that I've explained what Lasso means and the suffering each skull brings, let's hop right into the video. The game started as usual with Master Chief waking up to find and exterminate a Covenant infestation currently on the ship. I ran through the level as usual, and I did a speedrun skip at the beginning to save like 5 seconds. Keys hands me a gun to clear out those pesky aliens that are roaming on the ship, but due to my ineptitude, I die immediately. After I recovered from the trauma of getting dunked on, I moved forward and killed a few enemies that decide to sit and camp a nearby hallway. Grunt Funeral was super effective, as exploding grunts were extremely useful for clearing groups of enemies by causing a chain explosion. And I mean, extremely effective. I get to the end of the level in which I chuck a single grenade to kill all the enemies. Did I mention that exploding grunts are overpowered? After all the enemies died, I ran to the drop pod and proceeded to rescue a marine that was trying to blend in with the floor. Very good time to leave. The escape pod then left and we went to the opulent surface of the ring. A quick grenade jump here and I got up, ignoring the spawn of two banshees. I then proceed to target grunts so that they'll explode on the elites, allowing me to then remind said elites who the boss really is. After I finally got my driver's insurance for this unwanted warthog, I proceeded to go exploring in it. I found myself at the bridge, but it was down for maintenance, so I used the hood of my car to elevate me so I can force the bridge to connect via the control panel. I crossed the energy bridge that had formed and came across the sniper rifle in which I juggled to the first sight. I then used the infinite ammo glitch by double tapping reload and swapping weapons to snipe all the enemies. I was in such a blood frenzy that I decided to kill all of my allies, leaving not one marine alive. After I had been hacked, the other marines were determined to put me down and they had succeeded by filling my entire titanium armor with bullets. 
I then decide to let the Covenant do their jobs by killing this Marine. The brave Marine decided to show his bravado to the Elite, but it didn't end well. I said farewell to this Marine, but he quickly decided life wasn't worth it. Are you blind? I then picked up this sniper to make the ultimate killing car. I got on the Pelican and left, thinking this challenge would be easy, not realizing I was blissfully going into a hurricane. What you saw was but a glimpse of the level's difficulty. I reset the mission every time I couldn't see my weapon crosshair or my ammo count as it would make the level much harder. I start the level by taking out the two jackals and then snipe the grunts in order to damage elites so I may drop them with one shot. After I kill all the enemies, I quickly shoot the running elite, then I chuck a grenade to kill off the grunts. After all the amounts of resets, I got pretty good at sniping. I snuck behind this rock to avoid the elite from spotting me. Then I kill these two jackals, so they don't destroy me with their plasma pistols. I then kill this elite by shooting him in the chest followed by the head, and then I throw a grenade at this turret to flip it over. After all that, I run for the camo so I can sneak past the rest of the enemies. Once I got to the first wave segment by sneaking past everyone, the slaughter began. This was the hardest part of the level. I had to pray one of the front doors open, then snipe the invisible elite in the head. Then I had to maneuver to the front left door to rub my green body on this door to initiate a spawn trick. Then like a true coward, I hide in this corner until all the enemies spawn in. I move my body towards the door to pop a couple of grunts so they'll explode on the elites making them much easier to kill. I continue to pop grunts in the head so they damage the gold elites and maybe kill them. I have to be careful as the gold elites can rush me in this small hallway and it could spell the end of a Spartan. 
after most of the enemies are dealt with. I grab the camo and finish the survivors off with backsteps or grenades. This was the only reliable method of getting through this entire segment. Once the big doors open, I snipe a hunter in the back, then I bash the other till it drops. After all that, I proceed through the unlocked doors to engage in a hallway battle, with what little ammo I have left, being wary of the door to my left, as it spawns either grunts or jackals every time I peek down the hallway. I then try to clear the second floor by using whatever ammo or grenades I have left, making sure to kill off the grunts first, then targeting the jackals, as they are the next big threat. And finally, finishing off the elites. I hop down and make a solid dash to grab my supplies quickly, and I rush for any doors to my right that open up so I may escape the death box before I meet my demise. I proceed to clear out the hallway of any enemies and also meleeing any opponents to recharge my shields. I shoot the elite that's watching over the hangar and drop him. I proceed to do a tricky grenade jump and fail, leaving me with little shields and hope. All was not yet lost as there was a med pack still on the floor. I grabbed it to prepare for another grenade jump. I tried to do this harder jump but failed miserably. I realized that I needed more shields so I smacked a grunt. Then I climbed this box to prepare myself for another try, this time my final as I had no more grenades. I held my breath in anticipation and threw my grenade and... In an unbelievable act, I had just managed to pull off an almost pixel perfect jump saving me from the devastating demise I would surely have had below. Once I got to the bridge, I employed guerrilla tactics to deal with all the enemies by hopping from door to door to pick off a few at a time. I used the grunts to damage the gold elite so when he rushed me, I killed him almost instantly. I had a vicious hallway fight between the grunts and the jackals being careful not to melee the grunts as they could explode and kill me. I take out the two jackals that are guarding the prisoner's hallway. One of them didn't die instantly, so I shot him two more times. I decided to play it safe and grab the camo in the other prison room, making sure to grab it at the correct angle before I leave, as to not waste any second of it. I get to the room where Keys is in, then I backstab the left camo elite, followed by the gold elite, and finishing with the right camo elite. Once all the elites are dead, I throw a grenade to detonate their plasma grenades. I use up my grenades to kill the invisible elites that come through the door. To my surprise, the marines accompanying keys were actually competent and cleared the hallways. I sat in the hallways, killing all of the sword elites that dared challenge my superior skills, eventually killing them all just as I ran out of ammo for my sniper. After spending countless hours, I beat the level. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Get on board. Oh, oh I, I, I can't believe it. Yes! This proved to me that the challenge was absolutely possible. The fourth level started with an assault on the beachhead, in which I battled with my fellow marines to banish the Covenant from the shores, but it ultimately ended with my demise. I took a different route on the beach and got into a warthog going back for a few marines, but this happened. I went alone sniping all the enemies, eventually getting to the complex and being attacked by invisible elites, leading to my death multiple times. 
I found that the best way to escape my fate was simply run from it by using an overshield and dashing across, being sure to take as little damage as possible. I yeet myself over the cliff in a warthog to prevent fall damage. I pick up this rocket launcher, then proceed to jam my car through the door, followed by driving off the platform and with my overshield, just barely surviving this. I hop onto this overshield to negate damage, then proceed to kill elites guarding the room, finally dying because apparently I had no health. I got serious and decide to hoof it. I baited the gold elite and killed him by shooting a rocket to a bunch of stickies. I used the gatling gun, then I threw a grenade to blow up all the stickies and kill the remaining inviso elites. I left on the pelican and this was the end of the first half of the game. Assault on the control room started with me trying to assault the Covenant on this platform. Some mean elites tried to get through this door, but couldn't because I spam clicked the grenade button, like a Call of Duty World at War AI. I did a YOLO jump where I tried to land on this snowy platform without sliding off, then make a very tough fall where I have to be precise, otherwise I just die. The Banshee lowered my shield, so I died anyway. The Banshee was being very annoying by breaking my shields, which I needed for the last fall. I eventually made it, feeling like a pro, and enacted some sweet vengeance on the Banshee. Took a long drive on a ghost. Then I popped some mega doors, ending the mission by walking into a cutscene. The creepy level titled 343 Guilty Spark began with the Covenant running away. I was dropped in the middle of a swamp armed with an assault rifle and a pistol. I found out that even though Foreign is on, if I spawn with plasma grenades, I can use them. I got on this ominous elevator and activated it. Tried to do the flood reveal skip, but due to me being super rusty, I failed, in which I simply grabbed this health pack next to the marine to try again. In which as history repeats itself, I failed again. And I decided to take the long way around as I didn't want to do the skip anyway. Came across some jackals who were just staring at this door like a bunch of weirdos. And then I threw a frag. Then a plasma, which it killed them all. I then ruthlessly murder this marine cause I ain't got no time to be shot at by a crazy. After I crossed the bridge, I entered this door that was busted open. Then I saw a dead marine with a hole full of blood, thinking to myself, surely nothing will go wrong. After that, the fun began. The door burst open, revealing the little popcorn flood that absolutely poured into the room. After I eventually killed all the little infection forms, the final door burst open. The big flood were really tanky, and they were mad that I bullied the little popcorn. Took quite a few pistol shots, but I put them all down. I got on the elevator and went down. Some of the combat forms followed me, and the walls of the elevator were filled with blood. After I killed the combat form, I hopped off and landed on an overshield, making me much more durable. I yoinked a camo, failed at a parkour jump, grabbed a shotgun and smacked a flood, then used the shotgun and went up the elevator. After getting through the swamp, I cuddled in a corner until the mission was done. Greetings. Then the nightmare started again.
the level starts with me doing a grenade jump next to this pillar so that I can get on top of it in order to get over the wall. Then I shoot the ground in order to attract the flood. I shoot off the plasma rifle in this guy's hand, then kill him next to this door so that way he bumps me through it to the other side, saving me tons of time. I grab the shotgun in the far left corner of the hallway, then I begin to run from the flood! I yoink the health pack to my right and kill a few flood, followed by throwing a grenade behind me in the trench, grabbing the overshield, and then proceeding to throw two grenades at the right wall. Then after all the grenades detonate, I go up to finish off all the surviving flood. I throw a single grenade at this wall to kill the campers. I sprint past the flood and hide in this corner and let the sentinels take all the aggro from the flood. Then I pop out and use my shotgun to pick off the flood one by one. After it's all done, I fill up on ammo using the infinite ammo glitch, then get on the elevator. And thus concludes the first floor out of four, and only the beginning of the level. I get off the elevator and on to the second floor. I began the second floor by killing carriers. I hop on this slope, then wait for the monitor to return, and open the giant doors. I dash through, heading straight for the middle of the room. I parkour past the slopes, only to be greeted by another giant door. I then wait for this other giant door to open, killing some flood to relieve my boredom. I throw a grenade to damage the flood, then I finish them off quickly. I snipe the carrier flood in the hallway, then shoot a flood and yeet a nade. I finish off the flood by abusing the pistol in corners. I get blown up for thinking I can run past a rocket flood. After I kill all the waves in the hallway, I yeet two grenades at the rocket flood to kill it as well as the carrier flood next to it. I shoot more flood, then get on the elevator to the third floor. I juggle the rocket launcher through the tunnel, then use the rocket to kill this batch of flood. Finishing them off with my shoddy, take out the carriers using the corners as cover and wait until they all blow up. I do two little hops to get out quickly, then make a mad dash. After camping at this door, I throw a grenade at this rocket flood. Then I use his rocket to kill his cronies. Snipe all the flood until it's safe. Then grab this mid pack and grenades. Kill the flood. Make another dash. You seeing a pattern yet? I use the med pack. Then do a speedrun skip to bypass the door and initiate a despawn. Get on the elevator to the fourth floor. Heal up. But then I fail this grenade jump at the door, which then causes my demise. And thus ending that attempt. Took many days, but then this happened.
After I finally finished upon spending hours on this level, I knew that the rest of the game would be smooth sailing. Two betrayals had an annoying start where I had to dodge lasers. I used my plasma grenade to deal with most of them and used my shotgun to finish them off. I killed the Covenant with my shotgun and with melee. I used the door despawn, but died because I had 1 HP. If my sticky didn't kill at least two, it was an insta reset. After I finally killed all the Covenant here after like eight tries, I got into this banshee and shot the wraith, eventually blowing it up. I spawned in all the enemies and just flew past them all and made it to the first generator. I then shut the generator down and went on to clear some rooms of all the enemies. I flipped over a ghost and took it, but the wraith had wrath and killed me. So I said screw it and used the bull strat, which is short for banshee out of level. Put my banshee here, deactivated the generator, got into this new banshee, then plopped it over here. I then got into the first banshee and flew straight up and landed on this little platform. I did some tricky parkour and landed on this sliver of ground and hopped right into the banshee and flew without any collision. I hit invisible checkpoints until Cortana talks, then I just pop back into the map and enjoy a relaxing stroll. I greet the ghost again, steal a banshee, do some mid-air combat, land my banshee here, deactivate the second gen, blow up the spawned flood, go through the tunnel, squeeze my way through the door, rocket some flood, and prove my mid-air superiority. I chill here, and then deactivate the last generator. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. After Cortana loses keys, I get the Flood to follow me to this corner. Then I kill the Flood at this exact spot and stand over its corpse to bump through the rubble. I hit this checkpoint, then kill brain-dead enemies, only to then steal the neural chip from keys and get out of there! And just like that, the level was done. The Maw is the last level to go. I throw a sticky down here to blow up all the carrier flood. And I throw another for the Sentinels. I give the flood a nade, then I get pushed by the door to be on top of the ceiling where I jump on the lights. I jump at an exact angle to get teleported. I do more light jumping. Then I jump back into the map near the end half of the game with an overshield waiting for me. I run past these guys, grab the rocket launcher, then proceed to blow up every single vent shaft of the engine room. This vent was tough as it required two rockets to destroy completely. I got to the elevator, but died to bad luck. I did a bunch of retracing, and managed to get to the elevator again. And this time, I used my rockets to kill them all. I got on the elevator, and this is where the fun truly started, as it was my first attempt.
This is it. The end of Halo CE Slasso. I had a great run. Fun time of trying to figure out ways to solve the harsh problems that arose from the difficulty. I had my rough moments, but I also had my fond moments. This was a great accomplishment, and I'm proud to say that I've done it. I've completed the challenge. I'm filled with absolute joy of doing it. This was a great journey. This was how it felt to play the Halo CE Slasso. I'm the Commanding Army, and to those of you out there, thank you for watching. I hope this video was entertaining for you.